Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Azure Kubernetes Service. This would be an overview and the incoming upcoming sections I'll show you how to create clusters and uh, how to use the Azure CLI to create a cluster, the Azure portal, use the resource manager template and another video I will will try to prepare the application for AKS, create container registry, run few application and uh, so on and so forth. So to begin with, Azure Kubernetes Service manages the hosted Kubernetes environment, making it quick and easy to deploy and manage containerized applications without container orchestration expertise. So what it does, it, it also eliminates the burden of ongoing operations and maintenance by provisioning, upgrading and scaling resources on demand without taking the applications offline. So like to host a Kubernetes cluster on-prem, you would have to have the expertise to set up that cluster. But if we will use Azure Kubernetes service, which is managed and hosted by Azure, we would eliminate the burden of the operations and maintenance, upgrading, scaling, and whatever it is in terms of the cluster. And so let me just uh, see the portal and uh, show you more and share more details about the AKS Akha Azure Kubernetes cluster. I am logged on to the portal and you just, if you just type in AKS in the search bar and look for the, the AKS service it state. So I'm inside my default directory. It says use Azure Kubernetes service to create and manage Kubernetes clusters. Azure will handle cluster operations including creating, scaling, upgrading, freeing up developers to focus on their application. So if you are a developer and you just have to focus on the code, the maintenance of the application, everything else in terms of maintaining the cluster would be done by Azure. So if you want to go through the documentation, you you should go through that and uh, if you want to follow the on-screen instructions to create the Kubernetes service, just click on create Kubernetes service and it gives you all of these options that you have to fill in the details and move on, right? So rather than main making the cluster as of now, let me show you, let me share that way that the Azure Kubernetes makes it simple to deploy and manage Kubernetes cluster in Azure. It reduces the complexity as we discussed. We can create an AKS cluster in the Azure portal like we'll do in the coming video. We can do it with your CLI or we can do it through ARM template deployment. So when you deploy an AKS cluster, the Kubernetes master and all nodes are deployed and configured for you. So if I'll use the Azure portal to deploy the Azure Kubernetes cluster, the master's node and other nodes are deployed for me. Additional features such as advanced networking, Azure Active Directory integration, monitoring can also be configured during the deployment process. Windows Server contains support is currently in preview in uh, AKS. So uh, let's say you want to check the uh, security and monitoring. So for improved security and management, AKS lets you integrate with Azure AD and use Kubernetes role-based access control. So you are aware about the role-based access control when it comes to Azure, wherein you give the access on the basis of the requirement. You Everybody uh, does not have the admin access. It, everyone would have the access on the basis of the job they are doing on the Azure resources. So that you can use the Kubernetes role-based access control to give the access on the Kubernetes clusters. So to limit the access to cluster, you would use the Kubernetes role-based access control. There is integrated logging and monitoring available. And uh, if you want to understand how the AKS cluster and deployed applications are performing, Azure Monitor for Container Health collects memory and processor metrics from containers, nodes, and controllers. Container logs are available, and we can also review the Kubernetes master logs. So, what what we do we understand by clusters and nodes? AKS nodes run on Azure Virtual Machine. We can connect storage to nodes and pools. Uh, I'm sorry, nodes and pods. We can upgrade the cluster components. We can use GPUs. So this Kubernetes or cluster, Azure Kubernetes service, all supports Kubernetes clusters that run multiple node pools to support mixed operating systems and Windows Server containers, which is currently is in preview.
So Linux nodes run a customized Ubuntu OS image and Windows Server nodes run a customized Windows Server 2019 OS image. And uh, as far as cluster node and port scaling is concerned, so as I told you, it is scalable. We can use both the uh, horizontal port autoscaler or the cluster autoscaler. And as far as the upgradation of the cluster nodes is concerned, it offers multiple Kubernetes versions. As new versions become available in AKS, your cluster can be upgraded using the Azure portal. So you would get the option to upgrade to the latest version and you can do that either via portal or CLI. And AKS supports the creation of GPU enabled node pools. Azure currently provides a single or multiple GPU enabled VMs. GPU enabled VMs are designed for compute intensive, graphics intensive and visualization workloads. We can mount the storage volumes for persistent data for the application workloads. Uh, both static and dynamic volumes can be used. And as far as uh, virtual networks uh, uh, and ingress. So an AKS cluster can be deployed into an existing virtual network. And in this configuration, every part, every part in the cluster is assigned an IP address in the virtual network and can directly communicate with other ports in the cluster and also with the other nodes in the virtual network. Ports can connect also to other services in a peered virtual network and to on-premises networks using the Express Route or Express Route or Site-to-Site -site VPN connection. It also have, has the Docker image support and private container registry. So AKS supports the Docker image format. And uh, as far as the uh, development tooling integration, it uh, the AKS has a rich ecosystem of development and management tools such as uh, Helm, Draft and the Kubernetes extension for Visual Studio Code. Additionally, Azure Dev Spaces provides a rapid it iterative Kubernetes development experience for teams. With minimal configuration, we can run and debug containers directly in AKS. So the Azure DevOps project provides a simple solution for bringing existing code and Git repository into Azure. And this is this was the overview that I wanted to share with you guys uh, regarding the AKS. In the coming sections, we'll do more with AKS. So stay tuned. And if you have any feedback, any queries, let me know in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.